Hi, just an exclusive video because uh, a lot of people constantly ask this what happened to the micro current uh, that I used to sell? Well, I'm always thinking about getting back into it. It's like a motivation thing. I've been selling it for like longer than the blog actually have i like 13 years or something it's just uh, crazy but yeah um i had a couple of uh production uh issues and well uh, things just got out of hand a couple of years ago and i haven't hasn't been on the market for a couple of years but i do actually have all the stuff here um i've actually got these are all the uh, you know, all the parts and everything. I got them back from my um, uh, supplier and then um, like I got boxes, connectors and reels of parts like this. And then over here, I've got like, um, you know, giant reels like this. They're all the uh, connector, they're all the uh, battery um, holder things and boxes and uh, uh, stuff like that. So I, <laughs> I do have all the parts and uh, this box here, actually contains a ton of uh, reject uh, boards and, and stuff like that. You know, they'll have um, a dot on, like that's got uh, 10R on it because it failed uh, the 10 ohm range uh, test. It might have been like slightly out of spec. That failed the 1 amp test. It might have been sli slightly out of spec. I've got actually tons and tons of boards in here. I've got, uh, you know, ones on uh, panels and stuff. Uh, like they're, you know, they're... <laughs> Oh, it's not too good. Like they're, they're still actually on uh, panels and stuff. Like obviously, you know, some of them tested good and some of them tested uh, bad or they were slightly out of spec or, you know, something's uh, wrong with them. And um, yeah, I do actually have a ton of boards. I don't know, there's probably a, there's even, there's even a original green run there. Oh, look at that. That's rare as hen's teeth. Um, that one probably works works that's the original uh green run from the kickstarter i i think um there though is that one of the ones i might have hand assembled i can't actually remember um and then i've got like the um the stencil uh oh, is that gonna come is that gonna come open there, there you go i've got the actual uh microcurrent stencil there yeah you can see that that's the actual uh, paste um, stencil in the big aluminium uh, frame. So I got that back from the uh, manufacturer because I wasn't uh, making any more at the time. And, you know, they wanted to sort of like I just oh, get it all back. And so, uh, yeah, I've got like a ton of parts. I could actually go back into production. I don't know if I have any. I'd have to look. I might have some... Uh, I don't know if I have any spare panels, um, actual uh, bare PCB panels, but yeah, I've got a ton of parts and a whole ton of, like, I could actually test these and I was actually going to um, do that. I've actually got a setup on the bench, but uh, you might have seen that I had an issue, for those who watched the live show, I think, I had an issue with the Keithley R2400 uh, source measure unit, uh, Shmoo had an issue with that it's got like an intermittent fault and, I, and that's how i found it i was actually going to get like go through all these and sort them and actually uh test them and see if i can get good ones or i was even going to sell like maybe like a grab bag of you know <laughs> like microcurrents here they are like as is they might work they might not they might be slightly out of spec don't, don't know um so yeah that's the current state of the micro current and yeah i'm always thinking about like redesigning like designing an upgrade to it because it's like a you know, it's 13 years old at least, I think, um, <laughs> when I first started selling this thing. Um, so, it, yeah, it's it's been and published it. I originally published it in Silicon Chip Magazine. It's been a long time, but, um, yeah, there you go. I, I Yeah, might get into designing a new one, but I still have a whole bunch of parts. I could get back into it. It's just like a motivation thing. There's actually a lot of effort uh, required to start production uh, back up and stuff like that, and just, just testing those. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I could hire someone to... <laughs> go through and actually um you know sort them out and test them all and troubleshoot them and maybe i could um you know sell them off cheap or something i don't know anyway um yeah it's all still here yeah i'm constantly thinking about it. it's just a, a motivation thing so yeah i don't know please convince me to uh get back into it and we'll see what happens or maybe design a new one i've worked on a few you know upgraded designs over the years but you know once again it's a you know you sort of like start off all enthusiastic and then oh you just sort of lose interest in the project and it just sort of wanes and then you get a different idea a different direction and whatnot and anyway yep there you go the parts are all still here they're in my pack and i'm not in the dungeon i'm in the i'm in the actual lab here um i'm not in the bunker i'm uh, yeah the, these parts just sit here to constantly remind me that, oh, yeah, I should get off my ass and actually do that. So I haven't packed them away. I actually deliberately took them. They were in the bunker, deliberately got them out of the bunker, especially the box of old dead ones there, 
got it out of the bunker and uh yeah and it was just gathering dust and there's there's i don't know a hundred plus boards uh in there or something that i could potentially test and sell anyway thoughts and comments down below catch you next time